years we made it back to Costa Rica and we are so excited to go gyro flying again. So usually when we are in Costa Rica we have two gyro planes, one for Christoph that he can fly and one for me that I am flying. And the advantage is it also gives us two extra seats. So whenever we want to take some friends up for flying or some random lovely souls that we meet, we can take them along. So this year we have Julia and Amelie with us. Maybe you remember them. They were in our last video in south of France last summer. And we flew up to the Pyrenees for a picnic with them and then went to the Cable Wake Park because it was their birthday. So this year they're coming with us to Costa Rica and they go for the first time gyroplane flying. Funny enough, on all the airfields where we are flying with the gyroplane in Costa Rica, they have a couch. And the couch is the all-time favorite spot for the girls. So whenever we go flying, be it before the flight, when we do our pre-flight checks and the flight preparation, and the uh, briefing and planning, they are on the couch and as soon as we land they are back on that couch again. So one morning we were woken up by an extreme screaming in our backyard and we had all the howler monkeys that have decided to stay in our backyard for the day. So we ran to wake up Julia and Amelie because they were deep asleep, they haven't heard anything and it was so cute how they were climbing in the trees and looking at us and eating and they had some babies with them so that was pretty amazing. Julia is cleaning the pool and I'm taking a shower because it's really hot here. Feels so good! After a good healthy breakfast we were ready to go to the airfield and take the girls on the first Discovery gyrocopter flight. Today they just enjoyed the flight and they didn't do anything. But then on the next few flights Christoph taught them how to maneuver the gyroplane, how to hold altitude, attitude, how to fly curves and everything so they could fly the gyroplane a little bit from the back. all the way down the shoreline to the southern tip of the Guanacaste Islands, then to cross over the Gulf of Nicoya and finally go see the crocodiles in the Tarcoles River. We were expecting to see a lot of sea creatures during our crossing of the Gulf, because last time we did that, we saw a mama whale with a baby, we saw hundreds of dolphins, we saw a lot of stingrays. This time, we only saw stingrays, which was also very nice, but we would have expected to see a little bit more. Crocodile spot at the Tarcoles River is quite challenging because oftentimes they have a lot of gusts there, the wind is very unstable and exactly under the bridge where the crocodiles are there's a lot of cables going over it so you have to be super careful when you're flying there. On the way back we decided to go over Punta Arenas and there was this huge cruise ship in the harbor and we flew with the char plane over it. It's very impressive the size of these cruise ships. Then we crossed again the Gulf of Nicoya. And decided to take a shortcut through the inland of the Nicoya Peninsula 
over the mountains and the hills, which was quite the bumpy ride, but still very fun and very nice. As you can see, Amelie is flying the gyroplane here. Christoph has his hands off the controls and she's doing really well. After all the flying we have done today, we deserved a well lunch break at one of my favorite restaurants in Samara. It's called Gusto Beach. It's such a beautiful location. Uh, while you're waiting for your food, you can go for a swim in the ocean. Let's see those paradise birds, the blue ones. I forgot the name of it, but I'm sure you guys know the name of this bird. So if you do, post it in the comment below. Christoph was not only teaching the girls how to steer the gyroplane, he was also teaching Amelie and Julia how to drive a car on the bumpy dirt roads in Costa Rica with a lot of holes in it and to go home we even had to cross a river so it was quite a different experience and a challenge for them to drive compared to the Swiss paved roads. Our pool was not only our favorite hangout spot at the house, it was also the favorite hangout spot of all the birds from the vicinity. They came on a daily basis to drink water there or to take a dip or a bath in the pool. It was quite amazing how they came every day and they did their tours, the low passes over the pool, very cool. Today we were trying to fly to a volcano which was past Liberia International Airport. But there was so much wind, so much headwind that we barely moved forward anymore. We had such a low ground speed that we decided to ask the controller of Liberia International to make a low pass over the runway. So we did our low pass. The runway was never ending. We barely moved forward and the controller became a little bit concerned because there was an airliner on approach. But we told him that we're gonna clear the area and take the downwind. Once we were in the downwind and we had the wind in the back of us, the runway passed under our hel um, under our gyroplane with a blink of an eye. So fast on the way back home with all the wind that we had. The next day we had to move out of our house and move into a different villa in Tamarindo. So that meant we had to bring the car with all our luggage plus the two gyroplanes up to Tamarindo. When I was young, my daddy said, gotta keep one eye open in your bed, cause there's a time coming when the... So Julia and I 
why we took the car with all the luggage. It was a super good training for Julia how to properly take all the curves and turns. And Christoph and Amelie, they flew up to Tamarinda with the gyro plane. Christoph made an amazing smooth short landing in Tamarindo. Once he was down on the ground, I hopped into the gyroplane and we flew back to Samara to pick up my gyroplane. And if you're flying alone and you push it a little bit, it takes not more than 30 minutes from Samara to Tamarindo, especially when you're alone in the gyroplane. And after all that flying and driving, we were so hungry that we went to the restaurant to have a burger and pokeball. And Christoph and I, we are really looking that we eat healthy food most of the time. We also do exceptions, but we were super excited to see that they have keto burgers in the restaurant. into our new home for a week. What an amazing place. Next we went to Playa Grande which was literally just down the street. We went for a swim, did a little photo shoot and enjoyed the sunset.
today Amelie and Julia didn't feel like going for a flight they wanted to relax a little bit and enjoy the house so they stayed home Christopher and I we went of course to the airfield like almost every day because when we are in Costa Rica we really enjoy flying along the shoreline and through the rock formations and over the luscious green tropical forest it's just so amazing we never get enough of it so we drove to the airfield but we had a lot of wind that night I, well, actually it was almost a storm we had more than 100 kilometers 140 kilometers of wind and some of the huge trees fell on the road which is leading to our airfield so we had to make a detour to get there but we made it of course on our flight we flew over the house to wave at Julia and Amelie who were enjoying the pool and if you guys ever make it down to Costa Rica you have to go on a gyroplane flight it's so amazing it's so beautiful you won't regret it hit me hard, I had to pull the throttle back to idle, not to get into negative G's. That's the only thing gyroplane do not like at all. I was in a situation where I had zero indicated airspeed, so I applied firmly power and then slightly push your stick forward to regain speed and minimize your altitude loss. For Julia and Amelie it was then time to go back home. Christoph and I we stayed a little bit longer. But that you will see in the next video which will be following very very soon. I made a commitment that I'm going to post videos on a regular basis to keep my channel alive. So if you guys want to help me, subscribe, like what I'm posting if you like it and make some comments to beat the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it and I'm happy to have you follow along my journey all the time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you on the next one. So we are back from ice cream now and we are flying to Samara again.